Hallo, hier ist Gunther von Deutschland und hier ist das George und welcome back to another episode of the Salad Unboxings. Sweet. All right, guys, today we got the BAM box. This is February's BAM box. Um, I heard from a couple of you guys that wasn't too great, but we'll find out. If you want pricing details right here, while Gunther opens the box, should be pretty good. When he's done eating gummy bears, How'd you forget already? <laughs> All right, sweet. Get the first item. So yeah, I heard that uh, a couple of people out there said it was not that great, but we will see. Our opinions will not be swayed. Uh-oh. All right, <clears throat> what is that? That's Boston Creative Company. Okay, what's in it? Okay. It's a spoon. Oh, the spoon. Is this from like the Matrix or something? Or he bends the spoon? No, no soup, soup for you. you. What is that from? Seinfeld. Oh, Seinfeld? Yeah. No soup for you? Okay. Yeah, the, the soup man. Oh, I didn't He know had his uh, soup stand that everybody loved. Everybody, uh, it was always a line. Wow. But he was called the soup Nazi because if anyone ever made him upset, he would say, no soup for you, get out of the line. Everybody was scared to get kicked out of the line because the soup was so good. I schmecked good. I didn't, I didn't watch Seinfeld, so I watched Friends. I'm a Friends guy. Next item. Well, first, take out this, just some uh, protective covering. So what is it? It's gonna be, oh, no, 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 get this. What is this? What is this? What? Okay. Oh, that's. Oh my God! Uh, it's one of those. Why not? Got. <laughs> it's one of the beanie. It's a rainbow polar bear beanie baby. I don't know if this is like one of the exclusive ones from before, or it's called Sammy. His name is Sammy. Date of birth June twenty third, nineteen ninety eight. Oh, 98. As Sammy steps up to the plate, the crowd gets excited, can hardly wait. We know Sammy won't let us down. He makes us the happiest fans in town. What? They come with, like, poems and stuff? All right. So you got a Beanie Baby. Did you collect Wunderbar. Beanie Babies? Did you collect Beanie Babies when you were, like, younger? A mm, young lad? Never once. Never once. Gunter, don't play that. This actually looks kind of cool. I like that it's polar bear. It actually looks almost realistic. Look at that. Yeah, yeah he is. He is cute. Yeah. He's a little cutie yeah. for a bear. But I, I don't collect beanie babies. It's just a whatever item. All right. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Next. Ah, right, when'd you look? It's probably all covered. Ah, okay. That's probably, cylinder. It's probably going to be... Some artwork. I love I love uh, Bambox's art prints and artwork. So hopefully, hopefully this is a really good one. What is it? I see boxers on there. Is that is that Austin Power? Oh, Austin Powers and Doctor Evil. Mm -hmm. The fight for the mojo. Okay, that's actually the moon base <laughs> melee. The fight for Das Mojo and <laughs> Celebrity melee. Fight Match. Bezo Exposition in association with the British Intelligence Agencies. That's kind of cool though. I do like Austin Powers. So. Admission $850! Jesus. In Das Futures? Uh, what is it? Is there a date down here? Eight. Oh, this is number 893 out of 2000. So it's a limited edition print. Where's, 893 out of 2000. Where's Das Certificate of Authenticity? <laughs> It's probably right uh, here. Now I suspect that it's fake. There you go. Certificate of Authenticity. Boom! I don't know if you can get a close-up look on this camera, but... Certified. Right there. Kinda, sorta. Dr. Evil and Austin Powers. I like that. I like that. I wonder what this month's theme was. Because I forgot. Goats. Where'd you throw that thing at? Does... Cylinder? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like a javelin right through the air. Oh, there it is. So far away. Next item is gonna be what? Okay, that's a pin. But what is this? Like? That's hockey, hockey puck? puck? Are hockey pucks this heavy? 
Yeah, that's why the uh, hockey players don't have Canada. Teeth. Oh, Canada. This official size hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty. Doherty? 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 Doherty. Who played Les Averman in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise during a private signing with the BAM box? Oh, that kid from. I remember him from the movie. Right there. He signed it. He signed the puck. So that kid, he's homeless now. And they. <laughs> One, they felt sorry for him. They were like, "Hey, we'll let you we'll sign we'll let you sign hockey pucks for a quarter each <laughs> for our box. It's quite heavy. It's good material." I wonder if he if he's still a big star or something. I don't know. Not at all. You sure? If he was that big of a star, oh, nice. he wouldn't. But that's pretty heavy too. That's like what two pounds? It's got some yeah. weight. With your uh, Friday the Thirteenth Jason mask on this, you're well on your way to yeah. having everything you need for hockey. I, yeah, it's true. Jason Mass, they're, they're prepping you. That's it. Um, besides the the pin. And the pin is a, it looks like a super soaker. Right there, super oh, that's soaker. That's crazy. February's theme was 90s. 90s. And you got a little booklet here. Uh, you could have got one of these pins right here. You got common and rare Beanie Babies. I don't know if we got a rare. This is a rare? It How do you know it's a rare? Really rare? That's the rainbow. It looks rare. I don't know. Rainbow. You, you got the one that's worth over $6,000. Look for some rares to show up in certain boxes valued at $50 or more. How do you know they're rare or not? Go online. That's internet and... Hmm. I have to look them up. Then you could have got uh, one of these posters, probably limited edition. And it looks like uh, Neo from the Matrix versus Mr. Anderson. All right, not Mr. Anderson, Agent Smith. And then you have Dr. Evil versus Austin Powers. Saved by the Bell, Zach from Saved by the Bell versus AC Slater. And then you got the spoon. Yeah, no soup for you, custom soup spoons. Is that him? Yeah, that's the soup, soup, soup Nazi. Nazi. Okay, and then you got the soup Nazi soup spoon. Uh, that was it. Let's see, we're gonna do a recap real quick and rate this box. Six and a half hours later. So overall, uh, about $27 plus $8 shipping and handling. So it's about $35 for this box. Uh, was it worth it? Let's go over the items real quick. Got the hockey puck. How much would do you think you pay for this hockey puck? Let's see if we got our value. I usually, I cut out the pricing before, but we're gonna see. How much would you pay for this uh, signed hockey puck? I would pay the price of the hockey puck, which may be $10. Mm -hmm. Plus the autograph, I would pay ten cents. So ten dollars and ten cents. Ten dollars and ten cents for the hockey puck. The spoon, the no soup for you spoon. This is actually a pretty heavy spoon. This is thick. That is a thick spoon. Well, I hope you eat your cereal every morning with it. Then, if you're such a fan. No, I got a big, bigger spoon than that. This but. spoon is worth no more than a dollar. Seriously. One dollar. One dollar spoon, but it, it's excluded. No soup for you. I'd pay like, I'd pay like two or three dollars. If I was a Seinfeld fan, I'd pay like, I think you would pay like three to five dollars. I, I could see a Seinfeld fan. I am a Seinfeld that. fan. Oh, you wouldn't pay that? Oh, never mind then. Never mind. This Seinfeld fan will only pay one dollar, so. All right, one dollar. But I would pay like three. Anyway, if I was a fan. If it was a friend spoon, I'd, I'd pay like three dollars. So, we got the Super Soaker Pen. That's just, what a, that's just a dollar, Super Soaker Pen. So we're at like, what, they're at $12.10? Yeah. The Beanie Baby, let's look this up. Is that a rare Beanie Baby? Let's see. Let's see, the, what was his name, Sammy? All right, so looking him up, I don't. we don't know if he's like, he is a, a rare, I think, but if we saw him on eBay for like $5 all the way to like 300. I don't know if people are just being crazy and overcharging, but uh, we're gonna have to give it like what would you give it honestly i mean i would say Ooh. it's about five dollars if it's not a super rare one it's so cute i would pay it ten dollars ten yeah okay so ten dollars for the beanie baby he's actually that's the best one i've seen i don't even like beanie babies but he's rainbow colored he actually has some good detail i don't it's pretty it, cool it's so cute and he might be super rare so uh, I'm not sure about that. So we're at we're at uh, we were at 12, so we're at 22, 10, and then we had uh, this 
art print right here um the dr evil i would pay like five dollars for that i thought it i thought it looked really good so like five dollars and it's an exclusive one but still that takes you to what we're at 22 10 that's 27 10 so unless you buy unless you valued uh these items more than what we just valued them if you gave the hockey puck more if you like the uh celebrity who signed it or if you if this is actually a super rare one that's worth over fifty dollars then yeah you probably got your um your money's worth but if it's if it's not and i can't tell right now because apparently there's like a misprint and not a misprint and i don't know if this is going to be the super rare ones or not but if, if you go off our, of our pricing, it didn't meet uh, the value that you pay for, but it really depends on how much you value the hockey puck, the celebrity signature, this right here that is signed by the artist, how big of a Seinfeld fan you are. If you think we are full of sh comment below, let us know. Tell us straight up. We, tell, need, we need feedback. Tell Gunther. What do you guys think? Do you think we're wrong with our pricing? Do you think the box was worth it? Was it not? I know a bunch of, uh, of you out there were disappointed with this box. I haven't heard much good feedback, but usually that's the way it is. People that did like the box aren't gonna speak out about it. Only the people that didn't like the box are gonna speak out about it. But uh, it was an okay box. I would've liked different franchises from the 90s. Um, I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of any of these really so uh, I don't think I could be the one to judge judge it as good Are there any like Canadians out there that like hockey? Comment below. Yeah, I don't know. This, listen Canadian. to this. This is a probably I think a real hockey park That's that's a salad and we unboxed it salad that's unboxing funny. It's pretty hard. All right guys if you like the video Please thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Sorry. Cheers! Cheers.